In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. May the grace and peace of God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare for this most holy and sacred of all celebrations, let us pause, calling to mind our sins. And so we pray, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscious dreads and to give prayer, give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, Scripture can find all things under the power of sin, that through faith in Jesus Christ, the promise might be given to those who believe. Before faith came, we were held in custody under law, confined for the faith that was to be revealed. Consequently, the law was our disciplinarian for Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But now that faith has come, we are no longer under a disciplinarian. For through faith you are all children of God in Christ Jesus. For all of you who are baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free person. There is not male and female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's descendants, heirs according to the promise, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds, glory in his holy name, rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. The Lord Lord. remembers his covenant. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. 
While Jesus was speaking, a woman from the crowd called out and said to him, Blessed is the womb that carried you and the breast in which you nourished. He replied, Rather, blessed are those who hear the word of God and observe it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, it's pretty clear in the first reading that we are not to be a people of division, but rather a people who, uh, who are for one another and to pray for one another. Um, we have a lot of division in the world today, unfortunately, and the devil is very much at work. And um, sometimes I myself have spoken out against certain groups that defy God's plan. But the better thing is to, to pray, to pray for those who have wandered, who have gone astray, to pray for those who have basically journeyed down the path of the evil one and, and dwell in the darkness of sin and, and evidently have just uh, been so degraded in their understanding of all things that they cannot see a way back. And for those, we should indeed pray. For those who believe differently than we do, we should indeed pray. For those of other religions who are no longer one with us, at least in communion that we receive every day and with Holy Communion with, in Holy Communion with Rome. For those too, we pray, nor do we scorn them or throw uh, false accusations about them. Uh, we should not. They are our brethren in Christ our Lord, though we do not share are the same understanding about the Eucharist and other things. And so we need to pray for them as well because at least we share something with them that they too know Jesus Christ and love him and give him homage. But we need to people, be a people more that try to bring us back together and pray for those who have totally lost their way and gone down a very dark path. Um, to, to continue to sow division is uh, just encouraging the anarchy we already have in our world and even in our own country. All that is happening in the West, all that is happening in other parts of our country is very sad. And someone said the other day, I was talking to, we need a war to bring us together. I said, oh, heaven forbid, no. Because God's love can, can conquer all things. And so let us in this Mass be reminded of who we are as one in Jesus Christ and pray for those who have lost their way or have never heard the name of Christ and do not have an understanding of who he is for them. It is through his Father that all things have been created and he's been part of that. And you and I are part of that as well. And without him we are nothing. With him we could do great things. And so on this day, when we listen to that first reading, on this day that we are reminded that we are indeed one in Jesus Christ our Lord, we need to pray for all those who have gone, to, gone astray, for all those who have, have, have stepped into great depravity in their lives, for those who have entered into the sex trade, and for those who are part of the the taking of little children for all that uh, and uh, stealing them away. Even many of those who are crossing the border are now being chosen and, and being taken for that, that horrible, horrible, basically uh, uh, it's just to, to quench the appetite of those who just do nothing less than lust. We need to pray for them. We need to pray that they eventually have this awakening, this great awakening, that they come to an understanding of, of just how, how horrid their life is and how broken and lost they are. And for you and I, may we continue to follow the path of Jesus Christ, to listen to his words, again, not just with our ears, but with our hearts. And when we do talk to some of those people who would deride us, to share from our heart, I'm sorry you do not understand but I will tell you, if 
I may talk with you for a moment. Maybe you have some understanding of what we believe. We are not about sowing division. We are about love and trying to bring all people together in the love of God who loves all people. No matter what their affliction is, no matter what their desires are, we desire oneness in Jesus Christ our Lord. Would you at least spend some time to listen to me and hear me out that perhaps you may listen to what I have to offer and what God has offered me also. Those are the kind of conversations we need to have. And if they continue to scorn us, we say, well, then I will pray for you. That's what we need to do because we cannot be a people as Christians who sow division because we are one in Jesus Christ our Lord. And what Jesus Christ wants most is for all of us, all children that he has brought into the world, to be one with him. So that, that may be the desire of, hearts, of our hearts as well. Gather as a family united in faith and baptism. Let us with confidence bring our needs and prayers before our loving God, our Father. For the Holy Father, may God continue to bless Francis and his efforts to lead the people of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the salvation of the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who struggle with mental illness, May God graciously look upon their needs and provide their care, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those who offer the gift of their time to this faith community of St. John the Baptist. May God bless their ministries, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our faithful departed, especially Belva Hayes for whom this Mass is offered, and all those who have gone before us marked with a sign of faith. May they see, soon see our Lord face to face in the new and eternal Jerusalem, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our private petitions we bring in silence and those prayers offered for the blessed sacrament and adoration. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving and eternal God, we beg you to look favorably upon the petitions we bring to you this day and ask you to hear them as you see fit, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have received this gift of bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we receive this gift of wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete and sanctify work by which you are pleased to redeem us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to, to raise a hymn of glory and praise, O Lord God, Father of infinite goodness, for by your word, your Son's gospel, you have brought together one church from every people, tongue, and nation. And having filled her with life by the power of your spirit, you never cease through her to gather the whole human race into one. Manifesting the covenant of your love, she dispenses without ceasing the blessed hope of your kingdom and shines bright as a sign of your faithfulness, which in Christ Jesus our Lord you promised would last for eternity. And so with all the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, while with all the, all the church as one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love as once for the disciples, so now for us. He opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask you to send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and he said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we, we, we save the Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led to his passion and death on the cross, to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. We offer you the bread of life, 
and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now until the day of eternity among the members of your son in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face. In the, in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with your blessed apostles and martyrs, our beloved patrons, St. John the Baptist, St. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Ann Seton, Blessed Stanley Rother, and all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Let us share with one another a sign of peace. Agnus Dei, qui toles peccata mundi, misere re nobis. Agnus Dei. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
men. Of Christ. Of Christ. By 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 Christ.
our communion antiphon, the Lord is good to those who hope in him, to the souls that seek him. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so that as to be transformed into what we consume, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray together our prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. May every blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Very pure and lowly, Virgin Mother undefiled, sing of God, O Son most holy, who became her little child. Fairest, I love fairest mother, mother. All who came to earth, word made flesh, our very.